Hey guys, welcome to the O2 Garage. And if you like videos about old cars being rescued and saved and brought back to life like, like this thing, this 1975 combi panel van, then hit like and subscribe because we've got some great car adventures planned coming up very soon. And we want you to come along for the ride. But on this episode, we're going to clean this combi. We're going to clean it some more and then we're going to clean it again. Then we're going to get it running. Then we're going to get it on the road. Then we're going to cruise around. And then we're going to put it up for sale in this episode, right now. In this episode, we're kind of chopping around a little bit and doing a few bits and pieces because what I have to do is I have to do some work on the blue combi. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just basically wash the interior out. Now, what you can't see on the beautiful GoPro vision that I'm giving you right now is that today here in Adelaide, it's about 42 degrees, something like that. So water is evaporating the minute it hits the ground and it's a good time to do something like this here because you don't want to have a whole lot of moisture sitting inside your combi but if you have a bit of a look there's some bits of it that really do need a wash and a clean and the way i'm going to do that quite simply is just with soap and a bucket um, get the hose up here hose it out keep it right open and it should be dried out in a matter of hours let's start scrubbing And it's done. Here we go. And you can see it's starting to dry off already. Um, yeah, I broke this piece of wood when I sat on it. That's what happens when you're my size. Um, but I used a little bit of this stuff here, which worked really well. And as you can see, it's scrubbed up pretty clean. I've left all the scratches and bits and pieces, so whoever buys it is gonna be able to see what it looks like. But all things being equal, I think it's come up pretty good. Now what we have to do is work on this bit. Somebody's taken my hose, haven't they, Tess? <laughs> She's not even interested. She doesn't even acknowledge that I'm here. Look at her, go away. Okay, so what I've just decided in my infinite wisdom is when you have a look at the gauges here, you'll notice that they're quite milky around the edges. And when they're milky around the edges like that, what that means is it just probably needs a good clean inside. So again, in my infinite wisdom, I've just decided to take the gauge binnacle out, pull it all apart, give it a clean. So when you hop in the combi come sale time, it's going to look really neat. I don't know if I've done the right way, but I'm going to have a crack at it. Next up on the combi project is this, which is the seat. And the front seat is absolutely cactus, as you can probably see, it's got rips and bits and pieces. So rather than trim the seat, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a shortcut. I'm going to take a piece of a cloth that looks pretty similar, and I'm actually gonna wrap the seat. And by doing that, it shows that I'm protecting the seat. It's a cheap, effective way of getting the seat looking in a uniform color. And hopefully, well I know it will, look a lot better than what it does at the moment. And the final result of the seat looks like this. So no more ripped seat, uh, budget cloth put over the top, 
And a lot of people out there are probably going, well, why don't you just get seat covers? Why don't you throw seat covers? Well, the reality of it is the other side, the factory side, looks pretty good. But this side here just had the rips that weren't going on. And I'm not going to spend 30, 40 bucks on a seat cover when I can get a piece of cloth for eight bucks from the shops. So there we go. Job done on this one. Now it's time to continue with the bodywork. Next step on the combi is to clean the exterior up and make it look as clean as I possibly can. And I've already started just playing around. You can see a color code between the difference of things. But the next step is gonna to be to do these guys here. And I've got a bit of an idea of how I'm gonna do it. But first up, what I need to do is I actually need to give them a clean so we can use them. So clean them, paint them, and then finish them off with a little finishing touch. I've actually had some good success cleaning tires on cars with this stuff, this foaming tire stuff. It takes all the crap off over the years. So um, I think I'll have this, have a crack with this and that should get it cleaned up. So there we go guys, as you can see, black rims with the chrome cap on it. I've got a bit more detailing to do on the front end, but what we're trying to do is we're trying to make sure the van presents well. And if it presents well and it looks well, which means that's going to sell well. So the next thing will be to color code this bumper bar here and do that to the center cap as well. But right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of buffing and so forth on the front end here because it's a bit faded and I've always been a bit of a fan of home cleaning products for using on cars and the reason being is because this sort of stuff this creme cleanser is used for enamel baths and stuff a bit like jiff this is the cheap version of jiff this was like three bucks for all of this you try and go and get polish from the uh, from the uh, car shop and it's expensive for a vehicle like this which has got crusty paint you don't want to spend that so all you need is one of these you need some of that Stay there because it does flick. Ready? Here we go. So we've got a couple more steps we've got to do before we've got this thing finished and as you can see it's actually not looking too bad the shine is starting to come up <clears throat> there's a few spots you can see where the numbers were sanded out of it but what we've done is we've cleaned all the paint got all the impurities out of it as best we can what we have to do now is give it <coughs> oh, frog in my throat to give it a polish and then we have to put the rear bumper bar on and then the number plates and that's about it then it's done Standing out from the crowd when you sell a Volkswagen Combi is a pretty important thing to do and you get a lot of people who will paint them bright colours and trim them and do all that. We're not going to go to the trouble of doing that with this Combi because we just want to pass it on to somebody who's going to look at it and either drive it like it is and have an absolute ball or restore it and fully you know, do what it's got to do. I've painted the wheels black and I put the black and the silver caps on rather than black with chrome because one I didn't have chrome caps they cost heaps. And the second thing, that already gives it a bit of a unique, especially without the rear bumper, but I'm going to put that on. And speaking of bumpers, you can see this one here has got like an off-white, yellowy sort of thing, and I'm not quite sure what colour it was supposed to be. I think it was supposed to be white. But what I'm actually going to do is paint this silver to match the hubcaps to give it a bit of a tie-in theme. Now, there's no combis for sale at the moment that look like that. I think it's going to look good, and I think it's going to do okay for our sale prospects which is all that really matters, to tell the honest truth. It's starting to look a bit shiny though, isn't it?
So back of the combi doesn't look too bad. Um, everything looks pretty good. New number plates on, the bumper bar's back on. Unfortunately, the tow bar didn't make it back on, but that's all right. I can sell that online on Gumtree to some Volkswagen enthusiast for some cold, hard cash. But right now, I do have one thing left to sort out, which is the old number plate. If only I had a garage which I could put old number plates in. Well, I do. So let's just do that. So as you can see, the combi's now done. And really, the only thing left to do is to take it for a bit of a drive. And have it, oh. Hi. Hi. Looks like we've got some passengers. All right, here we go. Riding in the combi, it seems to drive okay. There doesn't seem to be too many issues or problems. It's good. I think it seems to be pretty good so far. Accelerates okay, brakes okay. I don't see there's too many issues on the grand scheme of things. I think we could be on a bit of a winner here. What do you reckon, Rubes? Yeah. Looks good, sounds good. <laughs> All right, now, next step is going to be a simple step. Let's sell it. <laughs> <laughs> 